I'm here with Jean Campbell of Fire Mountain Gems and Beads. And uh, Jean, you know, today we're talking about really trends. And one of the big trends I think we're seeing is, is personalizing your jewelry pieces. You know, and really making it your own. Well, you can buy anything mm -hmm. at a store that's trendy, but since you make your own jewelry, you might as well make it your own. Exactly, from start to finish. And this is the lovely bracelet that we're going to be making, and I love those images, and you're going to show us how to transfer those images. I'm really excited about this technique. <laughs> I spent a lot of time in my kitchen trying to figure this out. Um, the images come out so watery and mm -hmm. deliciously, you know, yeah. they look aged. and yeah. Artistic. It's a, right. Mm -hmm. It's a very easy technique to do. And what, what I'm using are these troca shell beads. Mm -hmm. They're double drilled and they have an acrylic back. Okay. And they look like little canvases. Huh. I just love them. And I, when I saw them, I thought, oh, we got to put something on them. Exactly. So they're really tightly polished. Mm -hmm. So you just want to buff them up a little. Um, and this is just regular old sandpaper. Nothing fancy. So you're just taking really the sheen off of it. Yeah, you just want to, I experimented a lot and found that um, having it buffed takes the image a little bit better. Mm. The technique is kind of hit or miss. And the nice thing is, is you can just sand the image off and start over again if need be. Okay. This is my new favorite little tool. <laughs> um, it's an iron, craft iron. Okay. that we'll use to put the image on. Actually, tell me a little bit about the image. Now, these are really deep in color. Yes. Is that what you really need? Yes. These are color photocopies. Okay. You can't print off something on your laser jet at home. You need to get an image and bring it to the copy shop. Okay. And a real deep, saturated image is best. Okay. So just if the picture or something that you have or a piece of artwork and you just kind of get it to that size and just make sure the color is just there. Right, and okay. th these are actually Mexican tarot cards. Oh, that's cool. And I, just, <laughs> I love them, so we'll use the tree. Okay. And I just center the bead over the top mm -hmm. and bend up the edges so that I know where I'm placing the image. Okay, so it's kind of a marker for you. Yeah, and you don't have to do this, but. Makes it easier. Yeah. We like that. And then turn it over. Mm -hmm. Now, again, this tool gets super hot, so you want to use a hot pad. Yeah. It make also sure makes, protect. right, and it makes the bead really hot too. It's not just the paper or the, mm -hmm. just the tool. So you're basically sort of melting the image or burnishing the image yeah. into that. Yeah. yeah. It does look like kind of a little iron. It does. <laughs> now, how long do you have to do this? Um, well, one nice thing is you can just go ahead and um, put it back on mm -hmm. so you can test it. Turn it around and again okay. use the hot pad. Mm -hmm. You can even see it just kind of getting in there. Right, and it, you just burn it on. Is it pretty quick for that to heat up? Yeah. And be careful when you take the paper off. Oh, look at that. See, you can the see paper will stick. Uh -huh. And you can just wipe that off with a little water. Oh, look at that. Isn't that neat? That is cool. Which and I see what you way. mean. You have to start off saturated because now it has that little watercolor effect. Right. To and it. you'll miss some spots, but that adds, adds to, it. to the mm -hmm. flavor of what it is. So Yeah. Do, so do you cover it after you get it all perfect the way you want it? What I do is I use a little um, acrylic spray mm -hmm. and give it a couple coats. Oh, you know, great. if you do make a mistake and you want to start over, you can just resand this yeah. off and, and then spray That's it perfect. again. So. And how do you put the, the bracelet together? You just use I just spaces? used spacer, Peridot mm -hmm. spacer bars, and they line up just yeah. nicely. And you could see the finished project, how perfect all of those look. I mean, I, it, like you said, very, very personalized. Now, on the same vein of personalizing, you brought another cool idea what you can do, cuffs is a huge trend right now, is it right, not? Right, right. And you brought a really cool idea that I've never really thought of before. Well, there's this product, um, you know, the craft store is like a candy store for me, <laughs> <laughs> um, that you can stamp right on non-porous surfaces. Wow. So this is a, a hammered silver cuff mm -hmm. that you can just stamp wow. right on. And it stays, you got to let it dry. And that's actually a nice... Um, quality because if you've made a mistake, mm -hmm. you can wipe it off. Yeah. 
And so you just let it dry and it looks really yep. cool. Yep. And then you so can this embellish is, it. I just embellished that with some amethyst um, with some pretty head pins and yeah. it turned out kind of neat. That's a really great idea. I yeah. love that. Now, there were some other pieces that you brought to us. Uh, you know, we were talking earlier about the fact that the, um, you know, the, the chains, the, the image chains and the um, affirmation affirmations rings. rings are so huge again. And also chains in general, necklaces. Chains are really hot, mm -hmm. um, but instead of just throwing a chain on, around your neck, you might as well make it a mm -hmm. personalized you know, if you need courage, spirit, serenity, Absolutely. love, put <laughs> it around your need neck. all of those things. Right. And then, of course, we have rings, which are always in, in vogue. Right. <laughs> and, you know, put uh, your birthstone mm -hmm. on your ring, and it makes it more personal and special. Yeah. So, you know what I love about it? It's stuff that you won't see anywhere else, and it's something that you've actually put together yourself. Well, and you feel good wearing it. You do. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Thanks Jean. Thanks for having me. Well, we'll be right back with Tammy Hahnemann.